Welcome. This question says a heat pump takes 34 joules of heat from a cold reservoir and it dumps 54 joules of heat into a hot reservoir. Hmm, hold on. Seems backwards, but it's not. Here's a hot reservoir. And here's a cold reservoir. And because we do work on the system, we've reversed the direction in which heat flows. If we recall, in our heat engine, we had heat flowing from the hot reservoir to the cold reservoir through our engine and our engine was able to take some of that energy and do work. What we've done for the heat pump in the cooling mode is we've reversed this completely. So we're basically taking heat from the cold reservoir and we're putting it in the hot reservoir. And this is all encouraged or forced by the fact that we do work. And we're using the work that heat work typically is done by a pump, which pumps on a volatile fluid. And that uh, vaporization of the fluid grabs heat from the cold reservoir. And at some other part in the system, we condense the fluid uh, back into a condense the vapor back into a fluid and we get the heat given up. And it's it's uh, the way a refrigerator works. Um, so it's a bit of a change from what we were looking at before. It's the same diagram, it's just a, 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 a different um, um, direction in which it, it works. And we say, well, in this case, it takes 34 joules of heat from the cold reservoir, so that number there is 34, and it dumps 54 joules of heat into the top reservoir, into the hot reservoir, and so how much work is done. And I can look at this and I can say, oh, that's going to be 20 joules just by looking at it, but I can also express it mathematically and say, well, Q hot is equal to, well, these two together combine to make Q hot, so this is Q cold plus W. So in this case, 54 is equal to 34 plus W, so W is equal to 20 joules. Um, okay, uh, so show that 20 joules was work was done and 20 joules of work was done. And then the next thing is um, show that it has a coefficient of performance. And the coefficient of performance is uh, analogous to efficiency. It's what you get out over what you put in. Well, what I want to do here is cooling. So I get out 34 joules. I'm sorry, let me do it in letters first. <laughs> so what I get out is cooling. So I get Q cold, and what I put in is my work. So in this case, this would be uh, Q cold is 34 over my work is 20. So this equals 1.7 is my COP. Um, I don't know how you feel about that. You know, uh, we're so used to efficiency has been less than one. Uh, less than 100%, and now we have a coefficient of performance of 1.7. Um, it seems a little bit uncomfortable. It, it turns out refrigerators can have coefficients of performance of 5 or 6. So a little bit of work give you a big cooling effect. Um, so it's just another... The math isn't hard. It's just familiarity with these, with these uh, concepts. So there we have it.